everybody. This is Jay from Everture Art Freedom, and we're so sorry that we're 30 minutes late. Um, Y'all know that it's live, and today we have a lot going on, and we didn't get to get our pasta ready in time, so rather than giving you cold pasta, like in a box, with no sauce, with making the sauce, we decided we'd make the pasta first. So, once again, you all know about our Tasty Traditions. We're only going to be promoting this this month, because after this month, our show is going to end, and then you'll get to see me and my teammate, Jess, We'll have some cooking shows, and I think you'll have fun with us because we're actually doing some ethnic type foods, some of our favorite recipes, and it'll be pretty much probably once a week, every two weeks, so watch for us. Um, we're excited about that. But for today, we're still going to be making a recipe out of our Tasty Traditions, which is our cookbook, that our active adult community put together to um, take care of those who still need meals. And even though most of us have meals every day and we're fortunate and blessed to have those meals, there are a lot of seniors in our communities that live on Social Security and don't have enough money for food. They barely have enough money for their places to live. So we always want to try to give back as much as we can. So Meals on Wheels, don't forget, you can purchase these cookbooks with us. They're $19.95 and the profits do go to Meals on Wheels. So, just call us, our number is 512-580-5500. We're at Overture Arboretum. So today, we're gonna to make a super simple recipe. Thank goodness for that, because we're running so late. But we're going to make, and I do not speak Italian, but I can tell you, this is called pasta, and it says I, quattro formaggi. And quattro means four, formaggi, or formaggi, I should say, is cheese. So it's the four cheeses, pasta with four cheeses. I do know that much because I speak a little French, but I don't know Italian. So. And this one it was submitted by Dana Martin. She said she wanted to share her favorite recipe that she brought back from Italy. So that's why we wanted to try it. And plus we wanted something super simple, easy, that when you go home at the end of the day, like tonight, when I go home, I have my son, who is here from college, and my husband, and I wanted something super simple, easy. I always carry boxes of the penne pasta at home because I can make all kinds of things with it. I can get into my pantry and find all kinds of goodies and put something together with this. So I always carry it. I highly suggest always having some of this. And unfortunately, during COVID times right now, it has been hard to get pasta because I think everybody else does the same thing that I do, but there's in abundance right now. So, so we went ahead and got our pasta got it ready. We're going to go to our stove because we're going to make this. And I have to tell you that once again, here's your fly. I usually make it once for y'all um, early so I know how it's going to turn out. I have not done that today. So let's all check it out and see what happens. Okay, come on. So we're going to turn on our burner first of all. We've got some other pasta going because y'all have to know that on Tuesdays, whatever we make here feeds our team. So we make extra, so make sure we have plenty to eat. Okay, so the first thing it says, you've got to do your pasta, which we did. And then it says, um, place your Swiss triangles. And the triangles say four angles of laughing cow Swiss cheese. Couldn't find that. But well, we're going to try just regular Swiss cheese. And let me get um, this. Because it also says to when you're going to melt it, like just turn on the burner, and you don't want to burn your cheese, you add some of the pasta water. And since I've got this going on, we're going to add a little bit of this and see what happens. And therefore, it won't burn. So we're going to add some cheese, and it said four little triangles. Well, you know what, with cheese, we like it. We're going to add whatever we want. So we're just going <laughs> to add some cheese today. We're going to use this and stir it. So you don't ever want your cheese to burn because the worst thing is if you don't have a Teflon, Teflon I'm sorry, or a nonstick pan, it is the hardest thing in the world to get off. And having cooked and done this a few times and really ruined a couple of pans. But the nice thing is if you have a great pan, they hardly ever stick. So I always highly suggest getting some great pans. So my husband, when we first got married, which he <laughs> does not cook whatsoever, but he wanted to make sure I had some great pans, so we went over to, at the time, it was Bloomingdale's. And then he bought me a really great set of pans, which I use to this day. We've been married for almost 25 years. He is the love of my life, and I met him when I was 18 years old. And then we split out because we were too young to 
get married, but we always stayed best of friends. And then we got back together later on in life when my father was ill and his sister was an x-ray technician. And she is very, very striking. She's gorgeous. We started chatting and then my husband and I got back together. So it was a great story, but that was 25 years ago. So anyway, they're called All Clad and I love those pants. I believe in having great cookware if you love to cook. If you love to sew, get a great sewing machine. You know where I'm going with all of this. <laughs> and y'all, thank you so much for all your well wishes. Um, you know that my father passed a couple weeks ago and I thought it was such a cloud, it was hard to get through the grief of it. And I'm sure I'll have my moments. But all y'all wishing me well and thinking of me has helped me tremendously and I have to say thank you. Okay, so here we go. You can see this Swiss cheese. And the reason why you add some of that hot water is because, like I said, you don't want to burn your cheese. And I'm sure there's a book called Who Burned the Cheese because, you know, there's many a cook that's burned it. <laughs> oh, just to tell you that Jess is my teammate. Um, we are both sales consultants here at Overture Arboretum, and we are learning that we are multifaceted people. But we are starting to, a new thing where we're going to go around and, and show you different things like cooking. Um, we've got a fashion show that's coming up. We're not going to be the fashion models. We're just going to show you how to put outfits together. Um, we've got a great series going on by a guy named Josh who is with Paul Mitchell. And he's going to show you all kinds of tips and tricks on how to fix your hair and summer cuts and things like that. Um, we've got a dog trainer that's going to come and show you how to get your dog ready for fall. So that'll be later on in the summer. I can't remember everything that we're doing, but check us out because if you think that you enjoy watching this, wait till you, you have both of us together. We're, we're, we have a lot of fun together, so you got to check us out. Okay, so this looks good. So then it says to add heavy cream. So the cream that we're going to add is, of course, whipping cream. And it says to use just one pint. So this is a quart. We're going to use half of it, which will give us one pint. And you know what? You know how I am. I just kind a little of, extra. A little extra. <laughs> kind of feel it. Make sure it's a... What do you think, Jess? I think that looks good. Okay. So let's go for that. We're going to add this in here. And then we're going to add, after we put this together, we're going to add Parmesan to thicken and add either Gorgonzola or it says for blue cheese. We have blue cheese today. And oh my gosh, anytime you add cream to a base, especially when you're making pasta with it, it's like my favorite. So, hopefully y'all are having a great day. It's nice and sunny and a little on the human side, unfortunately. But we all know it's summer here. Like my favorite thing to do in the summer is make ice cream. So I've got a new ice cream machine, so I'm looking forward to making some ice cream. We'll be bringing that here too. Um, one of the other things I love to do, make popsicles. And you know, sometimes in ice cream, I'm going to try this. I haven't done it yet, but I'm going to add protein to the ice cream because that's one of the things that my mom really needed was a lot of protein. And the only thing she would eat at a certain point in her life is uh, just ice cream. So that's going to be my new trial. And for Jess, is going to get to eat it. <laughs> We're going to come up with some flavors. Let's see if we can't come up with something. Okay, so we're going to make this nice and warm. What temperature do you have that? Like a medium? Yeah, Jess, I kind of have it at kind of a little bit low, but medium kind of tends to firm cheese. So I do it between low and medium. Okay. Thanks for asking. I should probably say that. So Jess and I both have our birthdays in July, like within five days of each other. That's probably mm -hmm. going to get a lot of stuff. Cancers. What are you going to do for your birthday, Jess? I don't know yet. I'll be here with uh, some of the residents. <laughs> I'll, be, I'll be working. Oh, that's right. That's right. Well, we'll make sure she has a wonderful cake. And what's your favorite cake? So I actually don't like cake, so <laughs> not that much. So I, 
I do like cheesecake, but I don't really consider that cake. And I also like ice cream cake a lot. So between those two, you're always safe. And last year, you guys actually got me an ice cream cake. And what's your favorite flavor? Mm, for ice cream cake? Mm -hmm. mm, you can't go wrong with it. Between vanilla and chocolate, they always kind of mix them in there with like the crunchy cookies. So mm -hmm. I feel like you're, you're always safe with the ice cream. Okay, so we are going to add Parmesan. It says about five ounces. This is a six ounce container, and it's to thicken it. So we're going to add the whole thing. My favorite. A little bit. And it's going to be so yummy. Our team cannot wait. They always ask on Tuesday, so what are y'all making today? <laughs> <laughs> and so far we haven't picked a bad recipe in the book. I don't think there are any bad recipes in that book. No. And all came from residents. That's right. Their favorite foods that they like mm -hmm. and their all different backgrounds. And um, we have a new vir er, intern and she's having to learn things virtually. And so I got the pleasure of talking with her this week. And she asked me why I liked what I did. And I said, you know, I worked in conventional apartment homes, which I love. I love working with everybody in just a regular apartment home. But what do I really love about our senior community? And what I really truly love is they have great stories. You know, at this time in life when you don't have to work anymore, you can tell me all about what you used to do and your thoughts and dreams and how you got to that career. I mean, it is so interesting. And some of the things that you think, wow, I didn't know you could do that. I mean, I've got a lady who worked at NASA. I mean, who knew? I mean, I never aspired to NASA, and here's this woman who's so smart, and that's what she wanted to do in life. I thought, wow. I've got different people who, um, like I worked with a lady this week, and she has her doctorate, and she is an audiologist, and wow. And we have painters, and we have those who... Uh, we've got another lady who just adore too, and she is a classical pianist. Um, we've got another woman here who plays the piano, and she can, she was a music teacher, and she can play anything. Um, all different kinds of people. We have a great person who's a sales who was a salesperson most of his life, and he can teach me all kinds of things, which he loves doing, and he loves to play pickleball, and love you know the fact that he's so active and still does things, and that's the reason why we're an active adult community because our people actually. It's whatever you determine is active. We each have our own ideas of what active is. Like I may not run because I have a bum knee, but for me active would be walking for miles. I love walking. So what are your ideas? What kinds of things keep you active? How about you, Jess? What keeps me active? Mm -hmm. The things I like to do, I love to travel. I love hiking so anywhere where i can go hiking lake tahoe even around austin um colorado anything i can do outdoors like that to get activity in rather than just working out in a gym i love doing that um and then i like to sing and most people know that so jessica is a fabulous fabulous music singer. is a thing yeah Oh, and she does have a sweet puppy dog that is keeping her active right Oh, yeah, right now. he's keeping me active, all right. <laughs> Daily walks. <laughs> you know, and I forgot to add the American cheese, so we're going to add the American cheese in here. This one, you just add two slices. We're gonna that's going to melt quick. Yes, we're mm -hmm. almost done with this great base, this great sauce that we're doing. See, look how quickly that starts to melt. And that's American cheese. And then we're going to add the blue cheese. So good. Now blue cheese has a very strong taste to it. So even though I overdo it with these other cheeses because they're milder tasting, I am going to stick to the recipe when it comes to blue cheese. Just because I'm not sure how our team is <laughs> going to feel. I personally love blue cheese, but just in case. And that's something for you to do at home too, is you know, try it at the beginning. See what works for you. You can already smell the blue cheese, so it says a couple of ounces. We're just going to do about that much and see what we think. It smells, smells really good. Yes. <laughs> so the great thing about cooking on these days, Jess and I get to try it first. That's right. <laughs> we have to make sure it tastes good for everyone else. That's right. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, so it's getting there. We're almost done. I want to break some of these pieces that are huge. So some of the other things that we're going to have going on, um, downsizing. That's a big thing. I think one of the things that people worry about when they come here is they come from a house. How am I going to fit everything into an apartment home? Once you do, everybody feels like, oh my gosh, that just set us free. But the thought of it first is always hard. And just remember this, take a breath, which is what you should do first, and then realize you can do anything for 24 hours. All of us can do something for 24 hours. Just take it one day at a time. I think the one day at a time is great, but I, if I look at it like 24 hours, I know I can do that for 24 hours. And then listen to the tips and tricks that our downsizers will give you because they'll really break it down for you and how you can get rid of some of the things that you need to get rid of, how you should pack the things you should pack, movers to contact. Okay, now this recipe doesn't say the blue cheese should be totally melted because I am trying my best to melt it. But it looks pretty yummy, so why don't we take it off and see what happens. So we're gonna put this on our pasta. Mix it in. <laughs> Make sure that everything gets covered. Oh my gosh, that smells so good. It smells amazing from here. <laughs> and just not having had lunch. <laughs> that smells so good. Maybe just enough to just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. Oh my gosh, that smells so good. And it was so easy. So easy, right? Then you can put and here it says optional, you can add peas, prosciutto, whatever else you like to do. We just kept it simple. Because then uh, what you can do instead is do a great salad with it, or, um, you know, I have lots of squash and zucchini at home, which will give it color. So it's always about the presentation, like I keep telling y'all. So to make it look prettier, then you would add some veggies. Put veggies on the side when you serve this, or put it in along the side of the bowl. There we go.